Hi everybody! Hello Noga! Hi Gil. Boom! How are you doing? <laughs> Whatever! <laughs> Welcome to our Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 4 Q&A. We already said this was the favorite episode of the season. I'm not the only one. Boom! Jake Plague of Souls Segura. You wanna tell us something about that name? On Twitter. This one's felt like a Game of Thrones. All these players are carefully playing their cards. So much is at risk and is a lot heavier to deal. So it was a little bit rushed, right? We're here to say goodbye to our brothers and sisters. I pushed a boy out of tower window. I told you I don't want it. It doesn't matter what you want. It's your choice. We're discussing treason. We've been talking about Daenerys going mad for three seasons now. Mm -hmm. And she was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And when uh, Varys told her, you have been uh, fighting all your life not to go mad, I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that wasn't very uh, consistent. Mm -hmm. But whatever, this is, this is what we have, we are where we are. We felt like we were going somewhere and we were going towards all of our predictions being correct. Boom. Boom. This is your favorite place to go. Being correct. We were talking about, so now you're uh, poking fun at me, but you said earlier, you were watching the, the episode, that uh, the predictions being correct just like makes, makes me feel that it's more in line with the show, mm -hmm. that it's going somewhere that makes sense. Right. Yeah, for me, I mean, exactly. I mean, uh, the fact that we were so upset the last episode was because Arya's, you know, thing with the thing. I we're mean, not talking about it. yeah, we're, yeah, so, yeah, but you know what I mean. Okay, so speaking of me cutting you off right just like that. Uh, Rat Castel Braccio says, Man, Gil is being such an asshole to her in the conversation. Has it been like this lately? Haven't seen Goth Academy's lately, latest stuff. Was I being an asshole? <laughs> no, you were very nice. <laughs> now they're gonna think that I was being an asshole. No, no, Gil is not an asshole. He's a very nice person, and we sometimes, uh, you know, we make fun in front of the camera because consensual fun. Consensual fun. <laughs> there was another guy. I have a feeling the girl. First of all, the girl. This the is woman. Is, this I is know. very respectful, <laughs> right? The girl. The girl won't be in this show for a very long time. Too much tension between you guys. Sad to see. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a very bad reading of the situation. There is such a thing called editing and acting. It's right. just uh, being playful with each other. It's, uh, yeah. And, and how, how are you feeling today? I'm okay. I no, mean, it, it's not sick. Not sick. Um, no, you, were, you were sick all week. Yeah. <laughs> it's because we were filming the three videos the same day. The same morning the right same after morning. watching the, the right. episode. And getting like two hours of sleep. And it's true that it, it was a horrible look, but so I really appreciate all the all the lovely comments and the, the get well wishes. They really made me laugh and they cheered me up and, uh, and you know, no doubt they contributed to my well-being and will keep on contributing that in the future. Right. But I wasn't calling you up every day, come again, you know, yeah. oh, I'm sick. And, and me like, coming oh. in with the same clothes as the, you know, the days before. You could, you, you could see my gradual decline in, in energy. That and is true. That is true. But, but people should also know that I'm a workaholic. I worked the whole day before. I taught uh, several classes in different cities. And then the wow. same day I was already, I was going back to the clinic to see people. So I'm completely irresponsible in every way. It was definitely not Gil that was. So thank you, though, for protecting yeah, me. Thanks for nothing. Why, why uh, is there allowed to protect you, but why on my expense? <laughs> why at my expense? They saw injustice as they <laughs> perceived it and they wanted to interfere. That's a good thing. Okay, Kenneth A from Patreon. Boom. Hello, Kenneth. They've been writing Daenerys as a potential bad person, but I feel she's correct here. What do you think? What do you think? That she's correct here? In being upset, mad, angry. <laughs> Well, of course, she's correct in being upset, but, you know, there is this, 
I mean, you have feelings and you don't have to act them out, you know, in a <laughs> massive uh, mass destruction sort of way. <laughs> And uh, right. I mean, you can lash out at, you know, I don't know, beat up a pillow or something. And not burn a city. Not burn a city. No, yeah. that's don't not. burn cities. There's a, I mean, there's also a fine line fine between line. Uh, hitting a pillow and burning a city. Yeah, I mean, also Tyrion said something about, you know, there's a difference between thinking about treason and actually doing it. Ah, right. So there's a, a difference also between re being really angry and actually acting on it in a way that is just, you know, not proportional. And I think it, it, it comes down to what you said about Daenerys in our first video ever when we put Daenerys on the couch. Mm -hmm. You talked about her privilege. She was like telling John, you want to take what is mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her birthright was all that she was, you know, depending on. That was the thing she was selling to people. Right. It's part and, of her identity. Yeah. And now, I mean, if you go by that logic, then you're not the rightful heir and therefore you have to give it up uh, on your own. One of the most difficult things, I mean we see that in the world today, is losing your privilege. The fear of losing the thing that she's worked for. I mean it's not just her privilege anymore. Right, she it's did a, work very, very yeah, hard Yeah, she did for it. work very hard for it. She lost a lot of people for it and uh, you know a lot of people <laughs> gave their life for it. A lot, of, a lot of other people died so she could be queen. Yeah. Right, exactly. It's a big price that other people had to pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was really heartbreaking. I was really sad for her, this right. episode. Right, really frustrating. Everything. Yeah, really. I mean, it's just not working out, you know. And like she said, I mean, she really trusted John enough to come there and to take all her people there. Uh, and she's trying to, do, to get along with Sansa. Yeah, she Sansa is. Sansa is not trying at all. Yeah, even though, I mean, Daenerys is not really, like, she's trying to get along with her, but, like, it's obvious that she's trying to convince her to move to her side right. the big sister yeah. the big sister yeah like exactly and uh, you know but uh, she's not really trying to see her and to talk to her and, and on the same level and Sansa knows that because she knows when she's you know when people try to manipulate her she she learned that from a uh, little finger right right this is mine why are you trying to take it away from me I'm I can see that you're trying to take it away from me and yet I'm willing to put things aside but you just keep trying to take right. it away from me. I'm not going to, you right. know. Because everybody won't be as submissive as she wants. And as she has frankly gotten very used to. Yeah. So Brandon Pollard, he says, Will Tyrion rat out Varys before he ultimately turns on Danny as well? Varys will die. I think he will burn. It makes sense that uh, he will burn and join his other parts that burned. I mean, we didn't understand why a guy from ASOS would want uh, to take care of the realm so much of like... Uh, in, right. Like I mean, she only affects also Westeros. It's not like the entire realms of men. And when you contrast him and his dedication to another continent, and uh, Missandei's last word, where in Missandei's last words, she's also from Essos. She's like, "Fuck them all, just burn them." Yeah. It makes more sense. It's more in character for an Essosian, whatever, to just say, "Fuck everybody." Bran C. Morris, he did not care that Miss Sunday was dead. I did uh, was killed. I did care. Yeah, me too. So Brandon, why why are you hating so much on Miss Sunday? Nets cuts. Nets cuts. Boom. Hello, Nets. Does Sansa have a chance of interceding with the Iron Bank, explaining that they would be better served investing in her than in Cersei, given her, her superior understanding of logistics and thus getting the Golden Company to change sides? Sorry, I think that's a great prediction that unfortunately is too smart and complex for the two douches. Douche and douche. D&D, mm -hmm. &D, douche and douche, get it? Huh? No, could you explain it to me? Andre, Andre Borito, Andre Brito. I'm really disappointed about Jamie. Sometimes I think the showrunners didn't understand about Jamie's character. I mean, we, we're going to do an, an episode about Jamie after the season ends, after the show ends. Psychoanalyzing him? Yeah. It wasn't very well explained, I thought. Yeah, it wasn't well explained, but I mean, it, it did fit other things that he had done in the past. And, and he is quite impulsive when you think about it, it's not... Uh... It's true. Uh, Rabia Yamazawa. I think Rhaegal is like John, stabbed in the heart, dies, and resurrects. Boom! No. Sorry, but no. You don't know that. No. 
Jenny Henry, Ugh, why didn't John pet Ghost? I think for budget reasons, I don't know. I thought that that was kind of lame. Golan Zakai, Golan, Alan Golan, he's from the neighborhood. Golan, so you see all my predictions coming through. I don't know how many cups of coffee he owes me, though he reneges on the deals. He says, the mountain will save Cersei from Arya and the hound will kill him. I, think, I still think Jaime will, uh, will end up uh, killing Cersei, but uh, we'll talk about that in the prediction video. Murder, suicide, yeah. Murder, suicide, yeah, so yeah. Like in the middle of the episode, it seemed like your prediction was not going yeah, to materialize. I thought that he was going to stay in Winterfell with Brienne. But uh, then, boom. Yeah, it was really sad the way he left her there. <laughs> Finally, she got something Bye. that she wanted. You gave her a taste of the good stuff, of the good life. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gil, I know what you mean. But do you? <laughs> And then he just took it away. Such a dick move. Dick move? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you everybody for watching. Thank, I want to end on, the, on a high note. <laughs> thank you patrons for supporting the channel. You can join our Patreon page on patreon.com slash godacademy if you want to send us uh, your predictions for episode 5. We're going to react to patron predictions later this week. So this is the time, patreon.com slash God Academy. Also, if you want to buy the God Academy collaborative book about Game of Thrones, 10 chapters looking at Game of Thrones from all kinds of angles. It's very comprehensive, all encompassing. The link is in the description, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. No, but did you understand what I mean? <laughs>